Hi, this is Gary again. We're still working with the PowerFlex 4M, and in our case, there's multiple things that you would need if you were replacing a band, brand new drive. This is in the software, and there's a startup wizard. Otherwise, you have to use the software that's in the drive and as you can see it is reset parameters and so if we say yes it's going to reset everything to factory defaults here's motor data so this is data that you have to put in off of the nameplate so that's current overload so in other words, you'd take that off of your motor nameplate. So if your nameplate says 230 volts, 10 amps, then you would put 10 amps in here. You put the nameplate volts, hertz, 50 or 60 hertz, and motor nameplate full load amps. You tell it the type of stop. And if you have a DB resistor for dynamic braking, you give it that information. A direction test. These drives have a microprocessor in them, so they need to know resistance, leakage, inductance, um, and that type of stuff. So they calculate that because they can be run as speed regulators, current regulators. Ramp rates, it shows you what the ramp does. It will, if it's an XL rate, when you push start, it will go from the minimum frequency to the maximum frequency in that amount of defined time. And your uh, deceleration rate is the same way. You can enable S-curve, which rounds the top and the bottom off. Here's your speed control, so it's telling you where that speed can come from, and it can come from many, many different places. 4 to 20, internal frequency, 0 to 10, preset, or your communications port. So you, by default, it's going to come from the potentiometer on the drive. Your digital inputs, here's your terminals that tell you your stop source, and these would be where your buttons go in. And that's powered by the internal source of the drive. Here's your relay output, so it shows you the terminals that that relay is. And here's all the things that can be done so that you can either put lights on it, warnings, or other things. But by default, if it's ready, here would be your interlock. And then it gives you pending changes. When you're ready to uh, finalize your drive preparation, you would say, yes, you want to send that to the drive and also you can do a direction test because a three-phase motor can run forward or reverse. If you have a drive on it, you don't need to change the motor leads. You just change this input and say that's forward or that's reverse. So it's much easier. Thanks. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.